It's the fourth episode in our Hill Climb Diaries, and as you can see, Ruben is back in action after his illness the previous week. If you missed last week's episode, we talked about our diets, whether that's vegan for me or something a bit more standard for Joe. And if you want to watch any of the other previous videos, there's a link in the video description to the full Hill Climb series playlist. This week, we're covering our first triple header hill climb of the season with the Chew Valley CC on Saturday and the Reading CC double header on Sunday. It was pretty wet for both days, but we still had a great time. We've had a lot of comments about how you warm up for a hill climb, so that's what we're going to be looking at today, including finding out how former national hill climb champ Adam Kenway warms up for a hill climb. And we've also had requests for data overlays on the climb, so Ruben is covering that this week on the Chew Valley CC hill climb. We rushed it a bit this morning. Just part of the fun. <laughs> bit of brotherly love going on. Jack's younger brother. Oh, so happy to have the support. That's what family's for. It's the first time we're all together, the three of us, and it's a local one. It's a Chew Valley hill climb, so it's the first closest we're ever going to get, isn't it, to a local hill climb? A lot of talk about tyre pressure. <laughs> yeah. A lot of talk about not doing it because of the rain. I wanted to do it. Come on, we're, we're in a positive, positive, yeah. state po of positive state of mind. Finish lines that are dead straight are probably the most fun because you can see the finish, but you just can't ever get there fast enough. So it's a nice long, nice long drag towards the end after a short little kicker. Speeding up and up and up. Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling now? Yeah, pretty pensive, uh, not as pensive as last week, I no. reckon. Last, last week was a way worse course. The last important thing I do before starting my warm-up is I tape up the time on my SRM because I don't like to know I find it messes with my head too much if I think I'm going too fast, too slow, too far to go or whatever, but yeah, if that tape's going to stick, to cover that up because, yeah, I don't want to know. Enjoy yourselves, boys. Good. Went better, went better than expected. Got up it. It was fine. It was a good day out. Very well organised. Nice club. Good vibes. Yeah. I was definitely very aware not to go off at 800 watts at the start. So I was, um, yeah, kept it. Kept it under 600, which is still too much. But not 800, like I have done before. Very cold. <laughs> Plus we've got to do it all over again tomorrow. <laughs> JJ, go woman's hill climb hitter. Hi. <laughs> Tell us a bit about your warm up routine because you warm up on the turbo, don't you? I always warm up on the turbo. Um, I actually don't like to ride the hill before the race. Really? Yeah, I know everyone else does, but I don't know whether it's in my head. I don't like to do it. I like to do it a few days before. Yeah. Um, and then warm up on the turbo. I feel like I warm up, warm up better. And how, how, long, um, how long do you take to warm up? About half an hour. And that's for like, do you do like a, a longer warm up for a shorter climb yeah. or anything like that? Yeah, shorter climb, longer warm up. Yeah. Um, although hill climbs generally longer warm up anyway, they're all short enough. Yeah, I think <laughs> we, we both find that you've got to kind of do quite a few big efforts to get your lungs and heart Yeah, kind of try and do some harder efforts and then some high cadence efforts. Yeah. And then just keep my legs moving. <laughs> Great, well you look like you're getting well into it, so we'll go. We'll leave you be. Good, Good luck. luck, see ya. See ya. I'm spinning with Joe, and he's gonna tell you about how he prepares for a big effort. Yeah. So an effort like this, what is it? About five and a half, six minutes, something like that. 
probably want to walk for about half hour, 40 minutes. A lot of people warm up on the turbo, but me and Jack and Ruben normally like to warm up on the roads because I just find it feels a bit nicer, do you reckon? Yes. It feels a bit nicer. First kind of 20 minutes, just spin, you know, spin the legs and just get everything feeling good. Then really, it's nothing, I don't do anything too scientific, do you? Just kind of a few minutes at like threshold and then probably about five, 10 minutes before, Few kind of harder efforts around race pace like 450 500 watts and a couple of little sprints uh yeah you just want to have got your breathing up pretty heavy so that when it's time to go you're feeling good basically aren't you because if, if you don't warm up properly it's just the first few minutes feel horrendous don't they so like joe says you know we do a few harder efforts i think the mistake i maybe made last year and a few of them i would uh, keep going right to the end with that so maybe with only like, you know, six, seven minutes to go. And I found that physically it didn't leave me feeling too bad, but it was more the kind of come down psychologically and calming down before it, I found affected me. So yeah, I tend to take it a bit easier now. Um, and that works for me. One of the golden rules that I once heard about warming up was the shorter the race, the harder the warm up. So because hill climbs are pretty short you know anywhere from a minute and a half to seven minutes I guess you want the warm-ups to be quite well you want to be out of breath and your legs going basically so where are we uh, we are at the Reading Reading CC hill climb um, it's a bit it's a double header so it's a bit different um, the first climb is very fast not very steep but about five minutes, you reckon? And the second one... And the second one is a lot steeper. I think it hits 19, 20%. It's been a lot of heavy rain. There's loads of surface water and stuff like that, so it's going to be yeah. quite a, a day to survive, not a day to, <laughs> day to thrive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we're just going to take a time and try and just be safe. Yep. Yeah. Five. Yep. Five. Four, three, two, one, go. You just can't get warm at all. And <laughs> the ride down afterwards was actually worse than the ride up. Go on, Joe! Come on! Thoughts? Immediate thoughts? Oh, better than the last one, but... Still struggled a bit. Uh, tire was so way too hard. Was it? <laughs> I, I had a couple of moments like that, but yeah. all the way up. Adam Kenway, former national hill climb champion, could be yep. getting it this year. This week we're talking a bit about like um, warm ups and how you warm up for a hill climb. So what did you do today to so warm up? Today was a bit uh, different to normal, but. As you see, it's uh, sun shining now, but this morning it was absolute torrential rain. Yeah. So normally I get there and I like to do probably two attempts up the climb. One just really steady, look for all the grades and stuff like that. Yeah. And then the second one, uh, about 75 percent, uh, because it's always a bit different the climbs are when you're going a bit flat out. The steep bits don't last as long, and it's uh, a bit different. So then I normally go back to the car, get all my stuff ready, bike, make sure that's happy, and then put it in the turbo and then do probably 20 to 25 minutes, 15 minutes just nice and steady and then progressively build up to a threshold effort and then uh, back down a couple of minutes and then three sprints flat out for 10 seconds. To, uh, so I do the sprints, uh, not on power anymore, anyway, like, to the point where my legs are filled with lactate so it just gets the body used to just recirculating it and then uh, and that's it really. Is that the same for every hill climb. Do you normally try and get the same yeah. warm up for everyone? Yeah, I, I probably tweak it every year a little bit. Um, so I used to put some five minute efforts in, and I find sometimes that can just deaden your legs a little bit. Um, and mentally, it's quite disturbing because you do a lot of warm ups through the year. Like I've raced six, 70 times this year, and some, I, I dread the warm up more than the race. 
because you still got to hurt yourself on the wall. Right. Dread the warm up, not the hill climb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cheers, man. Thanks very much. See you soon. Thanks, 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 you. Cheers, mate. I'm out training on my own tonight, and I find it so much harder for, to get the motivation up when I'm on my own. So even if you have just one other person, it's quite good because you can hurt each other, you can chase each other. But since I've got a fair bit of work to do, since being ill, um, I'm off to do some 30 and 60 second sprints tonight. My head is more willing to do them than the longer efforts. Uh, I guess it's only to do like slow twitch, fast twitch and... It's the first one done and I'll be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to training. I sort of, I do a bit but decided I'm gonna alternate between 60 seconds and 30 seconds. The 60 seconds will be out the saddle and the 30 seconds will be seated. Five seconds. I'm halfway through the session now. That's 60 seconds standing, 30 seconds seated, 60 standing, 30 seated. So Andrew Kirby out front. What's the training session tonight? <laughs> so we're doing uh, six times three minutes up two hill. But I'm gonna leave these boys to finish what you're on. Third rep now? Yeah. Yeah, so they've got a long, a long evening ahead of them and I've got a nice cruise home, so... So all in all, that was a pretty grim weekend, but huge thanks to Reading CC and Chew Valley CC who continue to put on uh, an event in such horrible weather and the marshals stood out there for way longer than we did, so yeah, all kudos to them. Next week's a busy week for us as we'll be covering three of our favourite hill climbs of the season. We've got the Mid Devon CC Hill Climb on Saturday, which also includes the climb of Haytor. That's been in the Tour of Britain. Pretty long, pretty tough. And then we've got a much shorter climb on Sunday, which is the VC Walcott Climb in Bath. I've also received a few upgrades in the past week, so I'm going to be fitting those to the bike and we'll have a look at those. And finally, Joe's enlisted the help of a coach, so we'll be introducing him and finding out what he's got in store for us in the coming weeks. So stay tuned, and as always, let us know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like or subscribe. Come